And as thousands of protesters gathered outside the state capitol last night, DPS says what started as a peaceful protest turned into vandalism of local monuments and what authorities are calling violent criminal behavior. We spoke to witnesses both in and outside the capitol building about what happened and we're getting a closer look at the damage done around downtown Phoenix. The first warning was the tear gas. Mothers like Natasha Chavez hearing no warning from state troopers about potential shots of tear gas being deployed. Two or three minutes later, um, that's when you heard the sounds of them launching the tear gas. And there was, you had to have a really quick reaction time. Probably around 8.45, um, they had declared it unlawful protest. Everybody was kicking and screaming, um, kind of just going wild and then they started to uh, shoot CS gas. Other witnesses like Hayden Newlander noticing authorities taking a defensive stance. So I kind of clear out that main main courtyard there. Then you have our state leaders like Senator Michelle Eugenti Rita watching from inside the Capitol. And that's when I saw DPS uh, start to line up and um, get information and stand at attention in front of the glass uh, doors. Eugenti Rita taking this footage from inside before being escorted to the basement with other lawmakers as a safety precaution. This is the first time I have ever seen this level of violence and honestly felt like it had moved from a protest to to something different. DPS releasing a statement about their response, saying in part, the violence of their efforts literally shook the building and terrified citizens and lawmakers who occupied the building. Adding, after multiple warnings and notifications of trespass and unlawful assembly, state troopers deployed gas and strategically moved to clear the plaza. Chavez taking her eight-year-old, Amelia, alongside her, saying everyone has a right to protest and that the tear gas caught them by surprise. Definitely angry, but definitely doing a little bit better. How are you doing, Amelia? Um, angry and sad. Chavez, who's running for Arizona State House in Legislative District 22, adding she was there to collect signatures for their fair elections initiative. Even though the tear gas happened near the, the, the Senate in the House buildings and it was more towards the Rose Garden, um, unfortunately, the smoke and everything carried and it, it got into her eyes. DPS also telling us no arrests were made last night um, during the protests here in the Valley, but six people were arrested following protests in Tucson. Meanwhile, seven memorials sustained significant damage.